Hello everyone, welcome back. So the first thing which we need to do a download weblogic server. So let's go to your browser and search for download weblogic server. It will take us to the oracle.com where we can download the packages. So basically when you uh, enter this page, you have a quick installer for Mac OS, Windows and Linux because it is going to be a jar file. So we are going to execute the jar file to install our weblogic server. So it's going to be common for Mac, Windows or Linux. It doesn't matter which operating system which you are using. So first thing which we need to do, just accept and download it. It might ask you to log in. So it has to, yeah, it is asking you login. So you need to have the uh, username, password and Oracle account. So I'm going to use my Oracle account. So I'm going to pass it for now. I'm going to enter my credential and then I will open the page. I just provided my username and password. So it is downloading the zip file which contains the jar file. So where we can save it, let's create a folder in the desktop. Like uh, we have a folder in the software folder, right? So we have a folder called software in my desktop. So I'm going to save it in a software folder and save it. So it might take a few, it's already downloaded. So let's go back and show in finder. And then, so first thing which we need to do, extract the zip file. Just double click, it automatically extract it and it will give you the jar file. So this is the location where we are going to install our weblogic location so i'm using my desktop because i already have the weblogic server installed in my different location just to show you i'm gonna create it in this location and then i'll tell you how to create a domain from it right so first thing we need to know let's go back so this is a desktop and this is a software folder and we need to open the software folder in the command prompt if you are using windows you can use the command prompt if you are using mac you need to use the terminal so new terminal. So I just open my terminal here. And then first thing what we need to do, check what the Java version is available. So make sure you have Java 8 version or above. So we should be comfortable to using the WebLogic server 12C. So now we need to execute the Java jar file using Java hyphen jar and space. And you need to provide the jar file name. What is the jar file name? Let's go inside. Okay, FMW, that's a jar file name. So FMW, quick generic dot jar file. So this is a jar file. We are going to execute it. Just press enter. It automatically starting. It's a command prompt. So you will not uh, getting any uh, fancy dialog box where we can uh, choose next 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 and create a domain it will not happen in this way because it's just a quick installer it will automatically run some commands and it will execute and create a folder in this particular desktop location c wls 14411 so for now it is copying the files and then it might take a while so i'm gonna pass it now so once the process is done i'm gonna start it again hello everyone welcome back so the weblogic server installation has been done. If you see the percentage completed 102200. So now we have the weblogic server is created in this location, which is our desktop. Let's open it. And here you can see a weblogic server here, but there won't be any specific domains here. So if you go inside weblogic server, you won't find any specific domain. So whenever you create any weblogic server, all you need to do is first you have to create your own domain so that is a domain which you're going to use for all our deployments so how we can create a our own domain what do you need to do go to oracle common and there we have a common folder and so the common folder we have a bin directory and here we have a config file so let's modify the view here so i can show you that so config.sh here so if you're using windows you should be able to see config.command file so since we are using Mac, I'm going to use the config.sh file. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to this folder and then I will create a new domain. So let's see how we can do that. So where am I now? I'm under the user, Arun and desktop software. So what is the next thing which we need to do? We need to go inside the WLS folder. So let's go back. So under the WLS folder, we have a folder called Oracle common. So that is the next place which we need to go. So oracle common 
so under the oracle common we have the common folder and then we have a bin folder and here what we need to do we need to execute the the config.sh file so hh sh sh space config dot sh enter so it will bring up a domain creation wizard okay so it is open now so what we need to do so create a new domain and here if you take a look at it this is the location where we have our webblogic server installed under the user project i'm going to create my new domain and it's going to be a base domain i'm going to keep the same name and click next basically you don't have to do any much of a changes you can keep the default settings here and click next and here you need to provide the the username and the password let's keep the weblogic as a username and you can create your own password here so it's going to be alphanumeric so provide some secure password and keep and don't forget the password so and keep the development mode on and i'm gonna use oracle 1.8 so click next and let's use all of them uh, anyway we are going to use a node manager just in case if you need in the future i'm going to op i mean i'm, I'm going to keep everything and click next and then the server name is admin server or you can rename it as well and the listener port is going to be 7001 listener address all local address which means local host or your ip or your mac address everything can use the same ip and click next and then move to the next so node manager so invalid username okay so since we clicked the node manager in the previous screen we have to provide the username for managing our nodes so web logic this is not required but anyway uh, since i chosen in the second uh, screen i have to provide the username password and click next setting up it's it it, it might take some time because these are the uh, basic things which we need because without the basic we cannot proceed forward we are not going to create any uh, managed servers here so let's move on to the next screen and then we are not going to work with any clusters and not templates and just keep clicking uh, most of the scenario we are going to keep the uh, default options enabled and then click create it will create your own domain so that is the domain which we are going to use in our eclipse so it might take uh, a few seconds or a few minutes based on your uh, system memory and then it will create a domain for us so the domain location which will be mentioned here user around desktop and software and you can find the full path here so it started now so i'm gonna pass it for now so till it's reached to 100 percentage so now it is reached to 91 percentage and now it is almost finished let's give it a few more seconds yes it is done click next and then here is the location so users are on desktop software wls1411 user projects domain and base domain and this is my admin url for my weblogic server so now we have everything need so let's click finish and then in the next video we'll create a project in our eclipse Thank you.